I'm going to show an example of how to solve an addition or subtraction problem with fractions that have different denominators, but that those denominators are not related to each other. So here's my first example, one half plus one third. There's nothing I can do to the two here to make it a three, because remember we want the same um, denominator on the bottom in order to solve this problem. There's nothing I can do to the two to make it three, and there's nothing I can do to the three to make it two. So I'm going to have to find equivalent fractions for both of these fractions. And to find those equivalent fractions, I need both of those fractions to have the same denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the denominator over here, 3, and I'm going to times this whole side by this one's denominator. So I'm going to times 2 by 3 and I'm going to times 1 by 3, because remember, whatever you do at the bottom, you have to do the top. I'm then going to do the opposite over here. I'm going to times this denominator by this whole side. So I'm going to times 3 by 2, and of course, whatever you do at the bottom, you have to do the top. And now I'm going to rewrite this problem. So first of all, once 3 is 3, two threes are six. So my first fraction, the equivalent fraction I found is three over six, and that still means a half, doesn't it? So I can double check myself, three over six is still a half. Then I've got one times two is two, and three twos are six. So now I've got the same denominator on the bottom. So we know if it's same, same, we're gonna keep the same denominator for our answer. Same, same stays the same, and we're just gonna add across the top. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So my answer is 5 sixths. I'm going to show you another example of how to solve um, an addition or subtraction problem with fractions that have different denominators but they're not related to each other. So here's a subtraction problem. We've got 9 tenths take away 2 twelfths. So we've got different denominators on the bottom and we know that there's nothing I can do to 10. I can't multiply 10 by anything to make 12 and I can't do anything to 12 to turn it into 10. So what I'm going to do is we're going to multiply this whole side by this denominator, and we're going to multiply this whole side by this denominator. So we're gonna times 10 by 12, and we're gonna times nine by 12. And over this side, we're going to times 12 by 10, and we're going to times 2 by 10 because whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do the top. We're going to now rewrite that problem. Okay, so 9 times 12 is 108. 10 twelves are 120. Take away. 2 tens, 2 times 10 is 20. And 12 times 10 is 120. So we know same, same stays the same over here. Now 108 take away 20. So we're going to subtract straight across the top. So 108 take away 20 gives us 88. So our answer is 88 over 120. And of course, it's quite a large fraction here. So you can simplify that further.